Okay, here I am with some windows, which is pretty typically in North Carolina, and we've got like vinyl plastic siding, and you can see that the siding um, is oxidizing, and you can see that the frames are oxidizing. So by, based on their color, that's what the oxidation is looking like. And what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna clean these windows on this side, where we're not going to agitate the frames. We're gonna clean those windows on that side, where we're gonna agitate the frames and the glass, and then we're gonna come back at the glass and just clean the glass and not touch the frames. And we're gonna keep the DI water off the frames. Right, so this is an experiment where we're looking at a heavily oxidized siding and then looking at the difference of DI water from tap water. And the tap water that we're gonna use is TDS around 100. Okay, so let's see, we're gonna capture the water at the bottom and see if we can compare how milky it is. So the first one is DI water. So let's have a look at that. That's our problem. That's uh, plastic oxide of some sort from the vinyl siding. And when that gets onto your window, then it becomes a real problem for you because it's going to leave like a film on the windows and they won't appear to be, to be uh, clean, right? So we've got to clean them again with DI water. So this is the effect of DI water on the siding. So now what we're going to do is switch over to tap water and see if it makes any difference. And what we're saying is that when it rains, the oxidation doesn't come off the glass, uh, sorry, off the walls. So the question is, is it the DI water that's doing it or is it the agitation that's doing it? And this is the best way to prove it. All right, so let's put that under. So we'll just test the TDS of the water here so we know what we're using as a benchmark. Good thinking. So there it is, 95. So have a look over here. We're now hooked up with the Rhino hose through to the Rhino tube with direct tap water with TDS 100. And we're gonna do exactly the same exercise and catch that water in the tray. So we started about here. Now that is pretty much the same. So what that says is that it's the agitation because when it rains, the oxidation doesn't come off the wall and therefore when we clean a window, if we don't touch that frame with an agitation, then we're not gonna release the oxidation. Conclusion is, if you can keep your bristles off the frames, all right, if there's no need to clean them separately, then uh, you're not gonna release the oxidation, even if they get a little bit wet. And I'm going to talk with you about the proper technique for using constructor brush, but I'm also gonna show you, you know, what can happen if the sidings are oxidized. So that's, you know, some sort of paint oxidized or powder coating oxidization. So these windows are quite different in the sense that they don't have a, an inset frame, so we don't have to worry about the frames so much. But let's see what happens when we're using deionized water in here. I'm going to come in here and the secret is to come in at 45 degrees like this and not wet that top frame. And then you'll see as I as I turn the brush I'm not turning it up high. I'm turning it down low. And then I can then clean the brush, clean the window like this. And you can see that that window is cascading, so it's hydrophilic. So then I can come in here, I'm not worried about in there, so I can do that. And then we can come across like this. And what we're looking for, which is interesting, is here, 
This window is actually hy hydrophobic, so it's easier to rinse with a straight pull. Now if we look at this window, if we went up here and we actually scrub the frames, we may release a milky residue from the oxidation. And the answer to that is actually if you had to do that and you wanted to do that to clean that up and clean that frame, then you'd clean all the frames and you'd get that happening and then you'd clean the glass, you can see the milky residue there coming out. So you'd have to do this in two steps, yeah, because there's so much milky residue. So then what would happen is you'd let that run down and then we're going to come back once that's dry and we're going to come back and we're going to run the rinse along that top edge like that and we're going to keep that off the frames when we go to rinse. And then we can take that milky residue off the glass, right? So I'll do that again. Well, first step, first step, we're going to scrub the frames. Yep. And then, if you want to come down here, you can scrub these. You want to come up here, you can scrub those. You can see that milky residue coming off the frames. And then, that's like terrible. And then, we're going to let that dry or settle so that all that milky residue has run down. And then, we're going to come back up. And we're going to guide those top jets along that top edge. And then we can rinse with a straight pull. And come down. So those are the two ways. Now this one, because we never touched the frames, you'll see that that'll also dry spot free because we never released the, the oxidation onto the glass. We were careful from the first minute. But sometimes it makes sense that you do want to clean the frames, so then you've got to do it as a two-step process. You've got to clean the frames and then come back and then just clean the glass and keeping the water off the frame. And the key to constructor brush, keeping the water off the frame, is keeping the constructor brush at 45 degrees or thereabout. So that, that if I show you here, I can control that, that water there so that it doesn't hit the frame at all okay okay so we're now back you can see that these windows the spots are still just drying uh, the spots of water but you can see very clearly that the glass is spot free on the outside it's kind of weird glass because it's got this film on the inside in between the panes but it's definitely spot free where we didn't touch agitate the frame up there and this window where we did agitate the frame and we run it in two processes where we clean the frames first and then we clean the glass um, you can see that it's spot free there as well this, this is a good example there's no spots on that and this one is a good example you can see there's no spots on that so the process there's two processes you can do leave the frames like in this case you know you might be able to see that they're dirty compared to that's clean um, so you can leave the frames and just clean the glass or if you have to clean the frames you clean the frame separately and then leave it a little bit and come back and just clean the glass but again do not agitate it's not the di water so much as it is the agitation that's taking the oxidation off and putting it into your rinse water that is the conclusion